Today is the first day of Lent. So we present to you the fish sandwich challenge. This video is sponsored by BCB Deals, local coupons and deals. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taste testing five different fish sandwiches for the first day of Lent. We're actually filming this on Ash Wednesday, so happy Ash Wednesday to all you practicing Catholics. I bet you didn't know that lots of restaurants around provide fish sandwiches for the six weeks of Lent, so. So we're going to taste test five different fish sandwiches from five different local fast food restaurants. Four of the restaurants are national chains and one of them is a local Orlando favorite. So for the five restaurants that we're doing today, we have Checkers, we have Culver's, we have Burger King, we have McDonald's, and we have a local Orlando favorite called Winter Park Fish Company. Now, do you know why we eat fish during Lent? I just assumed it's because you have to give up something for Lent and most people give up meat. So when they give up meat, they substitute the meat with fish instead, am I right? That's actually not right. Actually, they eat fish on Fridays. Every Friday of the six weeks of Lent, you are to eat um, sea animals, not land animals. And if you're giving up something for Lent, comment, let us know, we're curious. We are not practicing Catholics ourselves, but we love Catholics anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about what you see here? I'm actually really surprised that um, all these restaurants offer fish sandwiches during Lent. I had no idea. I'm pretty sure that all of these menu items here are year-round menu items from the ones we chose because these were the easiest to find. But I do know that fast food restaurants, a lot of them, will have a limited time fish sandwich in their menu just for this time of year. Huh. We'll post that in the description below so you guys can find those restaurants for yourself and see which ones are offering those limited time fish menu items. Okay, so the first up is the crispy fish sandwich from Checkers. Um, inside we have a crispy fish fillet topped with iceberg lettuce and tartar sauce um, between two sesame seed buns, so. The fish looks a little odd in here. <laughs> I mean, it does look flaky. It's flaky, but, but yeah. The breading doesn't look that great. Yeah. It's probably not going to be my number one choice, but who knows, it could surprise us, so. Cheers. Cheers. Checkers. <laughs> Tastes like tartar sauce. Not much uh, fish flavor there. Yeah, not much fish flavor. It tastes like a checkers fry with a slight hint of fish in the background. Yeah. I mean, it's what you'd expect probably from checkers. From checkers, yeah. Uh, the bun is all kind of smushed and the uh, even the tartar sauce isn't really that flavorful. It's not. Yeah. But it's really the yeah. only flavor in the sandwich. Yeah. All right, so next up we have the North Atlantic Cod Filet Sandwich from Culver's. And I gotta admit, this, this looks pretty good. It does. All right, so this is hand cut, hand battered, and it's cooked to order. Mm. Uh, it's topped with tartar sauce, and inside the tartar sauce, it has olives, capers, and sweet relish. It has lettuce on it, and uh, Wisconsin cheddar on a lightly buttered toasted hoagie roll. Cheers. Okay, so definitely a better texture, mm -hmm. but still not a whole lot of flavor. I really only taste lettuce and mild fish and bread. I mean, the bread's really good. The bread's good. And the texture of the fish, the breading is really good, mm -hmm. and the fish is nice and flaky. Mm -hmm. And it's got a buttery taste to it because of the roll. But the seasoning on the batter for the fish is not really giving me that much. It's not bad, honestly. If you want, want a quick fish sandwich through a drive-thru, this one would do you good. I could use more sauce. Probably would have made it a little better. I agree. Okay, so next up we're gonna do the Burger King Big Fish. And uh, looks like pretty much the same type deal as the uh, other places. Looks like lettuce, tartar sauce, 
and a fried fish fillet on there. So. And pickles. Oh, you see pickles? Pickles. Okay, yeah, yeah. Pickles. And a potato bun. Cheers. Surprisingly, this Burger King fish sandwich was the best one we've had yet. I think it's the pickles. I think it's the pickles. Um, it adds like that dilly that dilly taste um, to the sandwich, which is what, like I feel like fish sandwiches need. And shockingly, like Burger King knows how to do their fish sandwich. So this has the most flavor of the three we tried so far. The sauce they add and the pickle really adds a little pop of flavor in mm -hmm, there that mm -hmm. makes this a really enjoyable little sandwich. It's Burger King. You do your fish right. All right, so next up we have the famous McDonald's filet of fish uh, Not a whole lot of ingredients on it, but I know people that absolutely yeah. love this sandwich. Right. Yeah. Um, this does not look appetizing to me. I know people love this, people and do. actually the, the filet itself inside has some flakes to it, so yeah. I'll give it that. But um, yeah, and then the bread looks like the standard uh, McDonald's hamburger bun bread. You ready to try this? Let's do it. Cheers. First time eating filet of fish from McDonald's. Not bad flavor. It's mild to me, like the other ones. It's not bad. Um, I can see why people like it. The tartar sauce is real mayonnaise -y, I feel. But, it's not bad flavor, like, it has more flavor than checkers still. This would be a really good dollar menu option, I think. I know it's not on the dollar menu, but I feel like if they put it on there, this would sell like crazy. It probably already sells like crazy. I hear that people love this thing. Mm -hmm. um, I've never had one before, it's my first time, but it's okay. I am sensitive to like the fishy taste. I just got a super fishy bite, so uh, I wonder why. Last but not least, we're gonna try the Orlando local restaurant called Winter Park Fish Company. And honestly, it looks like these guys brought a gun to a knife fight. <laughs> They're getting ready to blow everyone else out of the water. <laughs> it's not really a fair comparison, but we gotta throw a local guy in there. Yeah. And these guys have been around for a while. They make amazing fish sandwiches. They have amazing seafood. I mean, just look at that. Yeah. This is obviously gonna be awesome. Uh, it's gonna probably gonna end up tasting the best. But we're gonna taste it, and we're gonna let you know what we think about it, and uh, maybe you'll be inspired by this review and wanna go check them out yourselves. The bread is like a fresh baguette. It has spring field greens on it. Um, it looks like a special sauce that they made. I mean. All right, let's do it. Mm, mm. So imagine like, an amazing fish and chips yeah. with awesome fish, yeah. awesome beer batter fish on a sandwich, on an amazing yeah. roll with a bunch of fresh vegetables and some extra sauce in there. Um, it's This is just really good. This is just top notch. You can't beat this. There's a lot of like fried edges in it because all the little fish pieces are fried individually. The texture's good. Flavor's good, tastes super fresh. Obviously they know what they're doing with it, their fish sandwich, so. Really good, obvious winner in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, That's I good. think it was obvious from the get go, but definitely give these guys a try if you're local. These are really good. Here is our ranking of these fish sandwiches. Ready, number five, go. So number five being the worst, yes. checkers. I agree, number five was checkers, they were the worst. Okay, number four, what do you think? Uh, McDonald's. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, definitely wasn't better than Culver's. Uh, definitely wasn't better than Burger King and definitely not better than this. So uh, McDonald's was ranked number four, number three. I think it was Culver's. Uh, see, I'm gonna disagree with you on that. Okay. I'm gonna put Burger King there. We're allowed to but, have a difference of opinion. Yeah, she thinks Culver's number three. I think Burger King number three. Okay, so number two, you think is? Burger King. And I think number two is Culver's. Uh, the reason I think Culver's is better is because they're they have like a legit piece of hand breaded fish that had actual like air pockets in the breading. It looked like they actually 
I hear dip, you. Dip, dipped it in batter, dipped it I in, in. Okay, and last but not least, who was your number one? Winter Park Fish Company. Obviously, they were the big winner today. I think that was obvious from the get-go. Enjoy your next six weeks of Lent. Easter is April 4th and we'll see you guys next week. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, we will see you next time. Take care. Bye.